Dr. Rohan Virani here and if you are struggling with pterygoid implants then probably this is the only video you need to watch till the end. So friends today I am going to tell you the minutest of details including my choice of armamentarium which has really been a game changer for me. So let's not waste further time and let's quickly directly jump into how to predictably place the pterygoid implants every time so some of you you have placed the pterygoid implants but you are still not confident the next time you will get it so this video is also for you for doctors who are beginners and they have you know collected some information but don't know what exactly to do then this video is for you and also for expert also i think it will be a value add wherein it will really change your game when i tell you exactly how i am over the years placing a pterygoid implant confidently almost in any case and every case so without wasting any time let us quickly start about the pterygoid implants and i will just quickly show you one of my recent cases and you see how beautifully the pterygoid implants have come up okay and i'm sure that you all want to place your pterygoid implants like this wherein you know you get a very nice torque and you are really happy that you have conquered the distal part of the maxilla without doing any sinus lifts so let us first quickly understand about the pterygoid implant so when it comes to the pterygoid implant just come closer this is the area the fusion zone is the area between the medial and lateral pterygoid plates which we want to target approaching from the tuberosity area okay so when we want to approach this area so what we want to do is basically this is the fusion zone and we want to go from the tuberosity area into this fusion zone so that is in short the only thing we want to do in a pterygoid implant the problem is that this procedure you may know the anatomy very nicely but it's a blind procedure so just like in endodontics you use a scouting file over here my instrument of choice is the C finder. Now let me tell you before I tell you about the C finder what exactly we want to do. So let's say you are in the tuberosity area and you want to hit the fusion zone. We need a hand instrument designed to scout that area without damaging any bone or any of the vital structures over there. So when I have this C finder in my hand and I go inside and let's say don't find any resistance. Okay, it's a blind procedure. That's why I'm closing my eyes. It's a blind procedure. I don't get any resistance. All I need to do is come out a bit, change the angulation and go in again. And here I find the resistance. So moment I find this resistance, your game is over. Now why a C finder, not any other pterygoid finders available in the market? Now friends, I have used almost all the available pterygoid uh, taps you can say in the market. Let it be from Norris Medical. Let it be from Mono, let it be from Simpladen. Of course, all have their advantages, disadvantages. But here, I am sharing you my personal favorite instrument. After years of me doing lots of pterygoid implants, one of the things where the C finder wins the game is the beauty of the design. Let me show you what. So if you if you look at it, apart from the sharp tip of these two instrument, okay, you will clearly see the markings on the instrument. Number one and number two the tappable design number three it has a good taper which creates what is called as a friction lock so what is the importance of this friction lock is this is probably the only terrible tap now what happens how the procedure happens is you will do the terrible tapping you will locate your fusion zone that's where a lot of people go right now the next step involves you picking up the handpiece, taking your drill, putting it in the handpiece, going back to the area. Now all the available telegraph uh, taps in the market you need to keep holding. So if you are holding it's very difficult to change. If you give your assistant to hold the telegraph tap, God forbid they may change the direction and you already lost what you achieved. But this instrument as I will show you in the video also remains stuck. Moment you find it because of the condensation effect because of the compaction effect it remains stuck in the place without you even holding your hands that's point number one this is because of its oblong design so design though it looks circular it has an oblong and a tapering design 
of course there is more to it which i cannot discuss in this video but the designing is such that it creates a compacting effect and some kind of a mechanical lock even when you release the hands it's not going to fall the flat blunt end you can tap on it and you can hear the annotations of the bone the sound the voice of the bone as you go in a lot of terrible taps the tip will become blunt even if you tap it once there are some terrible taps they are available as two components i absolutely dislike it because there is always a micro movement in the first and the second component so after observing all the deficiencies or problems in the different different terrible taps i think the c finder which is designed by me from my years of experience really makes the life easy so you know just like in terms of cricket you know if you get you can't like play a leather ball with a plastic bat i think the armamentarium plays a very important role for everyone and those who have used the terrigoid tap can watch for it what's the difference between terrigoid tap and c finder the game just changes on day one itself just by following this simple instructions now let me show you a quick video of exactly how to go about with this procedure so let's come closer yeah so here is me palpating the fusion zone area and using this terrigoid tap in the direction of the fusion zone now you need not worry as i already told you it's a blind procedure which means that if you hypothecate a direction and it's not true you need not worry you can always retract and go in the opposing direction and as you see here i'm going in that direction to some extent the markings are also guiding me the depth into which i'm going okay and as you see here now this instrument can be malleted without the risk of the tip getting blunt and the flat end will allow you to even hear the noise which you are getting while you are tapping these are all small small points which are normally missed out now here is the beauty of the instrument as you see here as you see here just see carefully there is no hand absolutely no hand absolutely no hand holding the instrument so lot of us you know all of us don't have the luxury of having four assistants six assistants but the beauty of the instrument because of this design it creates a compacting effect and as i'm repeatedly saying it holds in the bowl it becomes very easy for you to go put up your drill do whatever you want to and then carefully remove the instrument and introduce your drill inside the same osteotomy also mind you the drilling remains a formality because this has already created a channel for you all you need to do is remove this instrument and place your drill inside the same channel and perforate the opposing cortical it becomes a real cake walk the actual game is one with the c finder itself let me just put up at this juncture before i go ahead two quick reviews on the c finder so as you read here this review and just go through the second feedback also on the c finder So I'm sure once you use this uh, instrument, you will also love it. And let me show you further how to go about it. So now, since the fusion zone has been located, technically your work for the terrigoid implant is over because the instrument has already won the game for you. All you need to do is remove this instrument, use the same channel which has been. It's like a guided surgery, you know. The the channel created by this instrument is guiding you. Remove this instrument. and then place your drill inside the osteotomy by this as you see here very minimal blading not for when you went wrong as i already explained you can change the direction now with the drill you all you need to do is go in the same channel just observe carefully how with the drill you can go in the same channel and just perforate just perforate it at around 6 to 8000 rpm with your 1.8 mm drill from the arline kit and that's it this is all this is it the moment you perforate the moment you perforate with the drill your work is done at this juncture all you need to do is select the right length of the implant most of the times the implant diameter we use is 3.5 unless it's a very soft bone i use a 4.5 diameter arline implant the advantages of arline implant i will not get into that but the design of the implant further aids into what i told you to get a very high torque and you will be amazed the kind of torque we get every time predictably when we are placing our implants whether it's a bcs implant or a compressive implant if the bone is good the torque achieved is wonderful in all our cases and you will really enjoy the kind of torque you get and the most importantly the predictability with which you get as you see right over here 
okay so very high torque you can see even from my hand movements and you will predictably start getting such results trust me friends the armamentarium plays a very important role apart from your skills and if you have enjoyed this video let me know especially if you have used the c finder please let me know your feedback how it has changed your game i'm looking 